higher protein intakes generally result in a faster rate of muscle growth. However, not everyone is looking to maximize muscle growth at all costs. So what is the least amount of protein we can get away with while still being able to achieve notable muscle growth? So why might you decide to limit your protein intake in the first place? Well, there are two primary reasons I can think of. These are because of diet practicality and potentially for the health effects. The main reason that you might not want to consume a very high protein diet is due to practicality. Even if from a physiological standpoint more protein is better for muscle growth, there can be several practical disadvantages to consuming a very high protein diet. Some reasons include the following. First is that you simply might not enjoy eating a large quantity of high protein foods. Not everyone enjoys eating high quantities of lean meats and protein supplementation. Second is that high protein foods such as meat, poultry, dairy and protein supplementation are generally the most expensive in the diet. So it can increase the cost of your diet compared with including more fruits, vegetables and grains. And third is that it can make the diet more restrictive. When you heavily prioritize any single nutrient, you have less flexibility in terms of what foods you can consume, which can decrease your likelihood of adhering to a diet strategy. This isn't to say that these points apply to everyone. If none of these factors are an issue for you, then you probably don't need to worry and you can happily enjoy a high protein diet. And the other reason that you might opt for a lower protein diet is for health reasons. It isn't entirely well established at this point, but it is possible that a very high protein intake could potentially be slightly less healthy. Some epidemiological evidence suggests that moderate protein intakes are associated with the greatest longevity. This meta-regression explored the relationship between protein intake and mortality risk. It was found that the lowest mortality risk was seen in those consuming around 15-20% to of their calories from protein. Although once protein accounts for more than around 25% of total calories, mortality risk starts to increase. To put some relative numbers on this, let's take a 75 kilogram individual consuming a 2400 calorie diet. 10, 15, 20 and 25% of calories from protein would be equivalent to 0.8, 1.2, 1.6 and 2 grams per kilogram per day respectively. It should be noted that these are associations, not necessarily causative effects. So the exact numbers shouldn't necessarily be taken too literally, since they may very well be mediated by other variables. In any case, this tells us that very high protein diets could potentially be detrimental to long-term health outcomes to a small extent. So if you want to maximize health and longevity, it might be best to avoid very high protein intakes. Before we can find what the minimum protein requirements are for building muscle, we first need to establish our minimum requirements for health. As we saw, moderate to high protein intakes seem to be associated with the lowest mortality risk, while very low and very high intakes seem to be associated with less favourable outcomes. So where does this minimum lie? According to the Australian Dietary Guidelines, the average minimum requirements for good health in adults seems to be somewhere around 40 to 60 grams, or equivalent to around 0.6 to 0.7 grams per kilogram of body weight per day. Furthermore, males tend to require higher protein intakes due to having greater proportions of lean mass, and older adults tend to require greater intakes to offset sarcopenia. Although the recommended intake to optimize health is a little higher, around 0.7 to 1 grams per kilogram per day. So what happens if protein intake is too low? According to Dietitians Australia, protein deficiency can result in reduced physical function, oedema, anemia, and delayed growth in children. So as an absolute bare minimum, most people should aim to consume at least 0.6 grams per kilogram of body weight per day for health and function, which even without intentional effort is achievable for almost everyone in the modern developed world. So what about muscle growth? What is the minimum protein requirements to build muscle? Well, first of all, we need to assume that resistance training is being performed. Resistance training provides the stimulus to induce muscle growth as an adaptation. So without resistance training, there is no stimulus to adapt to, so significant muscle mass won't be built, regardless of protein intake. 
But assuming resistance training is being performed, what is the minimum protein requirement to build muscle? We have two meta-analyses which can help us to answer this question. First is this one, which looked at the effects of protein supplementation on muscle growth while performing resistance training. A breakpoint analysis found that protein supplementation was beneficial for increasing fat-free mass up to a certain point. And in terms of the minimum requirements, most interventions found some degree of gains even with fairly low protein intakes. Although there were no studies which used protein intakes this low, if we were to hypothetically extend this relationship, the point at which no growth would be observed is when consuming less than around 0.7 grams per kilogram per day. The other analysis analyzed the effects of total daily protein intake on changes in lean mass with various different subcategories. This graph shows the relationship only including the studies that involved resistance training. As expected, higher protein intakes produced superior growth, but with diminishing returns. And similar to the previous analysis, the point at which no gains were achieved is when consuming less than around 0.7 grams per kilogram per day. So overall, it seems that when we consume less than around 0.7 grams per kilogram per day of protein, our chances of muscle growth are limited. As a practical recommendation, I would suggest trying to consume a protein intake of at least 1 gram per kilogram per day in combination with resistance training to experience notable muscle growth. In summary, let's briefly recap what we have discussed. A high protein diet might not be feasible or necessary for some people for various reasons. In terms of health and function, the bare minimum protein requirements seem to be somewhere around 0.6 grams per kilogram per day. Although moderate to high protein intakes are generally associated with greater health and longevity, probably somewhere around 1 to 2 grams per kilogram per day. And while it isn't entirely clear at this stage, once we start exceeding around 2 grams per kilogram per day, it may be a little worse for long-term health outcomes. In terms of the minimum requirements for muscle growth, intaking less than around 0.7 grams per kilogram per day seems to inhibit our ability to build muscle. So as a minimum intake to build muscle, we probably want to consume at least 1 gram per kilogram per day in combination with an effective resistance training routine. Thanks for watching and hopefully you got something out of this video. Check out flowhighperformance.com for online coaching, training templates, ebooks and more.